How's it going guys? I'm out here in the shop. I got this uh, Match Fit Dado Stop Pro from Microjig. They went ahead and sent it to me to see what I thought about it. So I figured I'd kind of go through it with you guys and show you my thoughts basically. So basically all it does is um, instead of having to change out a blade for a dado stack just to cut one or two dados, um, you can just set this up one time and then uh, for your blade that you're using and then you use this and set it for your material basically and it will cut dados for you so if you only need to do one or two or three or however many or you can do them all if you want um, it makes it really easy to do that without having to change out the dado stack so so basically what it comes with is your dovetail clamp which goes here on your fence and then this is your uh, gauge to measure your material and your blade width and this is your setup gauge to set this up. This is all magnetic too, so it actually sticks to your table saw. Makes it a little nicer. I went ahead and did one just to get myself familiar with it. Um, it works pretty good. I'm surprised. Uh, it's pretty flush. My setup was probably a little bit off. Just a little bit of play in there, but overall it's pretty good. So I will uh, go through it and show you guys how to use it. So the first thing you're going to want to do is get you a piece of scrap 3 quarter inch plywood, or they suggest MDF, but I use just good nice plywood it seemed to work pretty good and then you're going to want to take it and uh, cut it down to four inches so once you have that done just go ahead and set it back against your fence don't move your fence get your miter gauge and put your setup gauge on your miter gauge with the dovetail clamp. There's a slot here for it. And then um, just basically get it on there and put it in the slot. Put it in the slot first. Get it on here. And then um, I already cut mine so you can see it's gapped already. But uh, basically you want to put it up against your plywood. Not hard, just barely touching it. Tighten down your clamp. And then you're going to want to adjust your blade to this notch right here just so the blade top of the blade goes through about the middle of that notch so then when you once you have that done you take your take your piece of plywood out go ahead and cut your gauge so it's set up for this particular blade and then write which blade it is on here they actually have a spot on here and I haven't done it yet but you can put your blade and um, which table saw even and stuff like that. So one really cool thing about this is this middle leg here, it's actually exactly three inches away from your fence. So you just adjust plus three to whatever um, adjust, you know, measurement you want on your material away from the edge. If you want your dado two inches away from the edge, you set your fence two inches plus three inches, so five inches. So set your fence to five, and then you will have a dado two inches away from your edge or adjust it for however you need. Alright so now what you're going to want to do is take this here put it against your fence um, just keep it back behind your throat plate is what I do that way it gives you a nice level surface for this to go and magnetize to your table saw top. So then you take your dovetail clamp and you put it in the slot here and then just tighten it down on your fence like that and then you just want to take this and slide it up here like this, making sure that this is level here. And then you want to take number two, the back leg here, slide it up against the gauge. That gives you your blade width. So make sure it's nice and flush against the gauge there without pushing on it too hard and moving this. Tighten it down. And you take your gauge and twist it this way, making sure it's square here and lined up on this leg here and here. So then you take your material that you want to put in your dado and slide it right here. Make sure it's flush up against your gauge here and then slide this leg out and just tighten it down. Kind of go back and check just to make sure it's pretty close or as close as possible. And then take all that out. Also before I forget you're going to want to take your material that you're going to be putting in your dado and measure it on your blade so you want your blade to only cut as deep as your material is so basically how I do that lay that there take something flat square whatever and then just kind of go over this until you can tell that it's the same thickness or pretty close 
that looks pretty good there. So then, get that out of the way, take your material that you want to be cut and stick it, like I said, put it here on the first post. You're going to want to make one cut and then you're going to come back and move it to the third post, make another cut, and then you're going to come back and then alternate between the two, between this distance here, to remove all the rest of the material to clear your dado. So I'll go through that and kind of show you what it looks like. I just now cut. This is material I measured. Fits right in. It's a little bit proud, but you can go back and adjust your blade height to compensate for that until you're happy with this to your final product. So it makes it a whole lot easier to cut single dados or just a couple rather than having to change out your blade for a dado stack and um, just use your regular blade for dados. So that's the MatchFit Dado Stop Pro for MicroJig. Um, it works really well if you want to do one or two dados or a hundred of them. Or if you don't like messing with a dado stack or you can't afford one, it's a nice alternative. Uh, I really have nothing bad to say about it other than the fact that the instructions are kind of hard to understand. Um, there is a video for MicroJig that really gets in depth with how to do it. Um, and hopefully this one will help you out. Um, I also have their, their push block, the gripper. It is uh, an amazing push block. You can adjust this here and you can actually run it straight over the top of the blade as long as you don't go too deep, obviously. It really keeps your hands away from your blade. Guys, I can't stress out enough to keep your hands away from the blade as much as possible. This is kind of close. It's a little bit uncomfortable. Um, you can use even this to hold it down while you're doing it. It would probably be a lot safer and I would recommend that. Um, also, unplug your table saw if you do change out a dado stop, dado stack or anything like that, or your hands are around the blade at all. So with that being said, I like it, I recommend it. Um, and if you guys like this video, give it a like. Um, subscribe to my channel, I'll be trying to do a little bit more videos, just kind of getting into it. So I uh, hope you guys have a good day. Thanks for watching.